Hey, in this tutorial, let's create a landing page for all of our movies in our Netflix clone. Now, in our previous tutorial, we have created the following UI. We have to create a landing page for all of our TV shows as well as movies, which will be looking like this. This will be our landing page that a particular user will click on the particular button and he will be navigated to the following screen. Now here, on clicking any of our TV shows, that is movies, nothing will be happening because it is not functioning. So let's make it functioning. So I can create a new folder. Let's say a new folder for our screens. So here I can write screens and under screen I will create a new file. Let's say a detail dot dot. It will be a landing page. So here I can add a stateful widget of say a detail itself. And also let's import material dot dot library. It will have a scaffold and also an app bar to be an app bar. It will have a leading widget. Let's say an icon button. It will have an icon. Let's say from icons icons dot arrow back to get us back to our home page also an on press method to it so here i can write an on press method to be navigators back so here i can write navigator dot push replacement and here we'll simply get a context of this current page it will navigate us back to our home page a material page route for the type of transport so here i can write material page route it will have a builder this builder will take the context so here i can provide the context to it it will simply throw an arrow function to our home page so here I can write home page that is give a semicolon here press ctrl and s let's copy this navigator method from here close this from here and here under the gesture detector which is gesture detector or let's say of animated thing under the gesture detector we can create a new method for an on tap function let's create a new method for it that is from the navigation so we route to detail cool now it will simply we can simply press our following code that we have copied from here forward document once here and here we can simply rename it to detail and also let's assign the following name of the method to the animation itself under the gesture editor or on tap it will simply take the entire context of this class and navigate us to route to detail press ctrl and s and now if i press any of our animated movie let's say fast and furious we are getting navigated to our detail page but it's not enough we want our screen to be looking like this not like that empty screen but the issue here is if the user will press on any of the following movie should be navigated to the proper movie itself not to be another movie let's say the user will press on the following animated movie of fast and furious and in our following netflix clone the user should be navigated to fast and furious itself not to any other thing so for that we have to assign an index as an ancestor to the following navigation so here while routing to the next page we can simply add an argument here of the snapshots data so I can write a snapshot of data under index. It will throw an error because we don't have any constructor for catching all the data. So here I can write final as a type of document snapshot with a info as a variable name for document snapshot. And here I can simply create a constructor for it. So here I can write detail this dot info to be the constructor. And here under the method of route to detail, we can simply provide the argument of the document snapshot itself to be info as in well. And here we can provide the arguments as well to be info to be info press ctrl and s and now here for testing purpose let's give title to our app bar to be text and under the text we will contain the data of the particular ancestor of the snapshots data so here i can write widget dot info to fetch all the data via info variable which is a document snapshot here i can write data and under the data i will write the name press ctrl and s and now here if i press on any of the following animated movie we will getting the name of the animated movie and for the next instance let's say of this thing and in this way we are successfully navigating back and forth with the current index of the document snapshot but we don't want our entire screen to be just like this we want our screen to be looking like this so let's create a landing page exactly like this so here we can simply copy our leading icon button to save our time so here i can remove the entire app bar from here and instead of having a normal app bar we can give it a sliver app bar so here i can provide the body of a custom scroll view here we can provide a list of slivers as a widget so here i can provide a sliver app bar that is a sliver app bar now it will simply have a leading widget so we can simply paste it here also it will have a somewhat height so let's provide some height to our entire sliver app bar to be 600 let's give a background color to our of our entire scaffold to be black so here i can add background color to be color dot black now along with the black color to our ncr scaffold our sliver app bar will have a flexible space for initializing all the widgets that we are provided here that is the image all the information starring as all the things so to do that we can simply provide a flexible space here which will contain a widget of flexible space bar and also we can provide a background widget to it as a container let's say a container and this container will have a decoration let's say a box decoration under this box decoration we can provide an image let's say a decoration image 
and this decoration image will be containing the image of the following index ancestral data which is the image of the following movie or tv show so here i can simply write a network image and this will contain a source of the following ancestor snapshot so here i can write widget dot info dot data under the data i can simply provide the entity of the image as well and here i can fit the image to the cover of the entire container press control and s so here we are getting the entire image which is kind of very attractive but we want it a blurry thing so here we can give a color filter provide a color filter dot mode let format a document first so here i can provide a color of colors dot black of 87 shade along with a blend mode of a darken thing so here i can add blend mode dot darken press control and s so we have our entire flexible space bar to be surrounded by the background of the image okay say bye bye to our main dot dart file and also our container gonna have a child so let's provide a child of a column and this column will contain all the children of the following widgets so the first widget is about the image so here i can write the image as in a form of size box let's say a height of 250 along with a width that is 150 along with a child of image dot network that is a network image and the source will be from the snapshot itself so here i can write widget dot info under the data and here i can provide the image as well press ctrl and s now we need somewhat padding to our entire size box from top so let's get somewhat padding from only of 50 okay 50 is enough and after this image we will need a row which will contain information about the following match as well as year and rating so coming after this padding we can simply assign a row here and under this row i can provide a text let's say from our ancestor snapshots so here i can write widget dot info dot data under data i will face the data of the match also give it some more styling of a textile along with a color let's say colors dot green along with the font weight to our entire text of font weight dot bold for our document once now after this text if we see our prototype we will need the following thing that is year rating as well as season so let's do that thing here i can write a new text which will be similar thing that is widget dot info dot dot data under the data i can face the year as well along with a style to be a textile let's say color of colors dot gray along with a weight to it let's say shade of 500 add a bracket here press ctrl and s okay so we have 2013 thing here now we can simply copy this thing So we can simply refactor our entire text into a container which will have a decoration let's say a box decoration it will have a color let's say colors dot gray and instead of here we can simply do one thing that is give it a color of white press ctrl and s also we can do one thing that is refactor the entire text with a padding also let's give it somewhat border radius to it so i can write here border radius dot circular let's say of two press ctrl and s and now we can also align the children of our row by main access alignment dot space evenly cool so this is our thing here so now you can also do one thing that is convert this color into white and to our seasons as well so here instead of having shade 50 i will give it a white color cool so we have our thing here so after this we will need a button for play button so coming after this row here so here after coming this row i can assign a flat button dot icon so here i can provide an icon of icons dot play arrow as well as a color to it let's say color dot black as the entire container will have a whiter shade also a text as a label so here i can give a text as a label of a play along with a style of a textile thing along with a color of colors dot white and we can refactor the following flat button icon into a container it will have a decoration of box decoration it will have a color of color dot white along with a border radius to be a border radius dot circular let's say of five press ctrl and s so we have a small button here so we can do one thing that is give somewhat height and width to our entire container so let's give it a height of 35 along with a width of 400 and also let's change the color of our text to be black cool so we have our button here so we can also do one thing that is give entire padding to our container from top by only like 10 is enough cool and after this thing we need another button for download season 1 and episode 1 so we can also do one thing that is copy the entire padding and paste it here along with changing somewhat attributes from here so here i can write download season 1 episode 1 along with the color of white along with some different attributes so here instead of icon i can simply provide an image dot asset of the downloads image and here instead of having a white color it will simply have a gray color of a shade let's say 500 with opacity uh, let's say opacity of 0.4 press ctrl and s cool so it's okay 
Also, let's convert this color to white. Okay, it's cool for now. We can also do one thing that is increase the font size from here. Let's say 18. Ah, cool. Also, let's increase somewhat height and width of our plaything. So here I can write font size to be 16. Press Ctrl and S. Okay, along with the size of our icon, 34, small, 30. Okay, 30 is enough for now. Okay, so we have our both of our buttons ready here. So we can also do one thing that is give somewhat padding more to our button from top. Good. Now after this thing, we will need information. So after coming this padding here, we can simply write text and this will fetch all of our ancestor data. So here I can write info dot data and here I can simply fetch the info thing which is info as well. So here I can give some more styling to our entire text of color, color dot white, press control and S. So we have our all of our data here. So we can now refactor into a container so that the following text will have a proper width. So here I can provide height, uh, let's say 50 should be enough. Okay, and also let's refactor the following container into a padding from everywhere for all. Okay, this is enough. And after this padding, we have a same thing. So here I can copy from here. And also instead of info, I will have a staring thing here. Cool. So we have a staring from here. So let's try it for another one. So here if I simply open this thing, that is the Willy Boggle looks something something. Okay. So we are getting this thing which is similar to this here. So we can also do one thing that is give somewhat more padding to this. So here I can give it from only let's say a top of 18 along with a left of 8 along with a right of 8. Cool. Press Ctrl and S. Okay, so almost all the UI is done. Only thing is remaining about the row. So here after this padding, I can write a row which will have a children. Now this row gonna contain a material button. So here I can write a material button which will on press does nothing. Also, it will have a child of a column. It will contain a column of children. Let's say an icon of icons dot. So here I can write add icon with a color of colors dot white. And after this, it will have a text saying my list along with a style let's say a text style to be a color of colors dot white and an extra bracket here after this let's give somewhat padding to our text from top so i can refactor it to a padding from top to be 8 press ctrl and s so now we are getting our thing here so we can simply copy the center material button from here paste it twice here okay so we have three of our buttons ready up here now we can do one thing that is give its main axis alignment to be a main axis alignment dot space evenly press ctrl and s okay so now we have all of our almost 50 percent of ui ready here that is we are seeing here of now now we can also do one thing that is give a divider here at the top of this row so here i can write a divider so here it will have a color of color dot gray dot shade let's say 500 press ctrl and s okay so we have a small divider here which may not be visible but it is there change somewhat height of our flexible space bar of 550 okay it's overflowed let's say 590 now that is we have our entire detail page ready which will be landing page after pressing any of our animated thing here so if i press on let's say shera we are getting this thing ready that we have covered all of our landing page now also if i press on this we are getting this that we have successfully completed our landing page so i hope you will be joining me along cause the next week clone is gonna be more interesting so if you have learned this tutorial kindly like this video and comment all of your doubts and queries now we can also follow along the source code that I will be providing in the description to get all the detailed code in a good way. You can also reach me out on my social media handles of Instagram as well as Facebook for any detailed query and I will be solving out them as soon as possible.